It's Man and Me Day. It's Man and Me Day. I got my tuna salad and my nails are painted. Yay. Okay, time out while I finish my sandwich. Just clean up the crumbs. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you don't know already, Maniology does a subscription box every every month. And in it, you get two exclusive stamping plates and a couple of nail polishes or stamping polishes. And then an, a little extra something. The plates are exclusive to the box. You can't buy them otherwise. I mean eBay maybe I don't know and then the the polishes and the little extra that comes with it they're not exclusive you can purchase them at a later date and I do have a discount code and it is guideline 325 just like my name and you'll get 10% off and I do earn a small commission with that and uh, they send me one now I used to buy two they send me one to show and then I still purchase the other one to give away so uh, I will tell you at the end how to enter the giveaway but let's check out what's in the box there are a couple cards here this one is the Manny that they did a little inspiration and then on the back how they got this look and then this card kind of gives you the theme and it's called through the looking glass uh, tumble down the rabbit hole and let curiosity be your guide so it's uh, of course based on Lewis Carroll's classic literary series Alice in Wonderland Oh, was celebrating all 364 unbirthdays in Wonderland. So the first is Queen of Hearts, and it is a regular polish, a sheer red jelly polish with iridescent flakies. Sheer red maybe, but that is two coats, and it is completely opaque in two coats. Very beautiful. I didn't clean up yet, so don't don't give me no gruffs. Very pretty red and gold. I really like that. And then a blue B464, and it's called Alice, and it's a vibrant cerulean blue stamping polish. Oh, I said it the first time. And classic cream finish, and it is beautiful. That is also one coat. Again, ooh, I did kind of clean up there, but that looks pretty bad. That is a beautiful blue. I am not feeling the vibe with them together, though. But like after I see it, it's like, okay, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I'm doing my thing, okay? I do what I does what I want. And then let's upgrade those painted roses with a bit of shine. A red rose NA041 red holographic ultra fine nail glitter is easy to use. You may even lose your head over it. Sprinkle it on a subtle sparkle or rub it into your entire nail to create a manicure fit for royalty and here is the powder it is very pretty get it up there you can see very pretty I don't know that I'm gonna use that today I might I guess I should show you how to stamp with it okay so we're gonna check out the plates and I'm gonna get in here really close I'm a little pressed for time um, I was forgetting February is a short month. It's like two days short, three days short. I don't know. Um, and I got it a little late. I'm on a really tight schedule with uploading. So uh, like the days are mapped out for me already. So I did, I got this late and I, I couldn't do it when it came. Anyway, here we're going to get in here pretty close and I'm sorry if it's, there we go out of focus and there's some really cute images I I'm kind of really feeling the cards though right now I 
I really I like these that have like little splatters. There's little Alice and the rabbit and the queen. And then on this plate, um, is that not focusing, is it? And there we go. I really like this image. And of course we have the clocks and some teacups. Painting the roses red. All right, there is what is on both those plates. All right, this is a little side note because I had somebody ask me the other day on the last maniology video I did showing some of the spring things that they've got, the new stamper, the limited edition stamper and uh, polishes, but I had um, the top, they were toppers and I put them over watermelon and somebody wanted a swatch of just the watermelon. And there it is. Watermelon float. Now back on task. I am going to go ahead and stamp this and grade it for you and show you uh, what it looks like over white and black. Their plates do have a blue film over them. Some of them have clear. So I'm going to get a hold of that. Um, just be careful when you're peeling these off that you don't bend your plates. Lay them flat or do whatever you want. And again, this is Alice B468. Go ahead and use my Pretty Spring exclusive limited edition stamper. Got to be quick when you're doing this because this paper does not want to stick polish. Looks kind of like a thumbprint. All right. Um, even though that's over black, it does not really change the color of that polish. Uh, dog hair. How'd that get on there? I wonder. Is that dog hair? I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, that looks really good over black and white, even for a darker color. Uh, so definitely opaque over both black and white. Uh, a plus. Uh, that's a great stamping polish. Okay. On a swatch stick, I'm going to show you how to stamp with with this glitter or any like pigment powder I'm gonna put it directly on the stamper and buff it in so really do not use a pull or a, a stamper that is you know a nice one but you're gonna just buff that in to the stamper and because um, that is going to stick to only where the, the stamping polish is, um, your nail needs to be completely dry, not sticky at all, preferably matte, but regular stamping polish is hard to stick to matte. So I am going to use She Modern Sticky Stamping Polish. And... Uh, Let's use the little, what is, what are they called? 
the Queen's Carry. It's like a staff, only it's not. As always, I can't think of what it's called. And then, uh, hopefully that picked up. It did, I can see it. And that should stick, yes. Only to the polish. Is my flash not on? I'll let that dry and then I'll brush it off. All right, then I just took a, a, just a fluffy brush once that dried and brush it off. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple of these uh, stamping aprons, nail aprons, nail protectors, cuticle protectors. Pick which one you, you like it named the best. And I'm gonna stick that on because I'm gonna do the solid, um, like houndstooth diamond print. And quick little shout out to Ginger with Gels and Gems Nails. Uh, her birthday was Monday. Her unbirthday was Monday. And Tara, Basis Loaded Lacquer, her unbirthday is Friday. Happy birthday, ladies. And I'm going to grab the Bam White. Um, I'm pulling it this way and rolling it that way to get a solid, nice, clean pickup. had some oil on my uh, cuticles earlier so I thought maybe that would keep it from sticking so much to my skin. Go ahead and take these off. It's a little crooked there Guileen. All right another way you can stamp with uh, with the glitter is just to pick up the image And put it on the nail. And I'm just going to kind of stick it in there. And I'm going to wait for it to dry. Da, 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 da. And then again, I've got my flash back. Yay! With a fluffy brush. I'm going to dust that off. I'm going to do it over the trash, though. And there's that. I didn't dust it all the way off. Yeah, I do. So uh, you do have to be kind of quick with that. Um, unless you're using a sticky stamping polish, you're going to have to be pretty quick with the glitter. And then I'm going to put the queen and I don't want the heart underneath it. I'm going to turn that around. Scrape it that way and hope I got that whole cue. Um, I don't know if I did. Did I? I guess we'll find out, huh? Oh, yes, I did. And again, in the glitter. Yeah. And always the best way to pick up glitter or get it off your brush is to just dab it on a lint roller. And let's get the lid on that before I dump it. Um, let's just do the other hand too, the blue. So we can see what it looks like stamped. I think we're going to be happy with it.
Um, everybody wants to see me stamp my non-dominant hand. Okay, the right hand is always crap on me. Just like it's always tea time. Ooh, okay. Yay! All right, there's with all the red and the glitter. Um, like, I am not sure uh, if this glitter is actually, yeah, I guess it's not. Sometimes glitters, especially reds, you have to watch when you put polish on them because sometimes they bleed. But I think that that one is okay. So it's very pretty. Love the plates. So cute. Don't get it too up close and personal with this blue. <laughs> uh, Non-dominant hand always turns out bad, but this is actually cute. This one turned out really good. I like that. Happy with that. Love that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you would like to enter to win the box I bought, it's not here yet. Um, please, you have to be in the United States. You have to be subscribed to me. And um, that's it. Just enter. Put down below in the comments, um, enter me. I'm in the U.S. Whatever you want to say is fine. Uh, but these are cute. <laughs> All right, thanks, you guys. Bye. Uh, stay tuned for a little fun video here at the end. There's Penny. I'm going to start sucking her face. Stop. Put it, put it all the way. Uh, Mom, it's not blowing up. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, turn the light off. No, I turned the light on so you can see it zoom. No. Oh, because oh, it's glow in the dark? Yeah. I don't know which ones are glow in the dark. Everyone. Everyone yeah, is. I don't know if it's dark enough, but okay. It's dark enough. Now. Woo! Oh, there's a party. Give me that party. Shiny. <laughs> I need the shiny. You got fleas, Augie? No. Yes, you do. <laughs> Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo.